Hi, friends and friends. Welcome back to beautiful Middleburg and this September Day continuation. I am in the international truck, was down at Fox Farms, picked up a load of total mixed ration for my uh, moo moo cows. I gotta feed my moo moo cows. Can't, can't let the moo moo cows go, uh, go hungry. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. As you can see, we are in the hole. Oh, crap, my driveway. Whoa, there, hang on there, Bessie. Turn into my driveway here. We are in the hole, 2350 bucks. The bank called me and said, you're overdrawn. I said, oh, okay. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Like they call it up and like, it's my problem. Well, you fix it, you're the bank. But anyways, cuz we did buy a roller. I had that delivered, we paid for that. And then Zeke, my good buddy Zeke, the local farmer here has been doing some contract work for me, getting my field up to snuff. I think he had it limed. I think he has it limed already. I don't even know if he if he used my mulcher and mulched it or whatever he's doing, but I called him up and I said, hey, can you give me a hand? Are you busy? And no, I'm kind of I'm kind of um, a little slow on the farm. You want some help? I said, yep. So he came up, he's giving me a great big hand on that uh, cornfield that we just got done harvest. So that is exciting. So I paid him a little bit of money. I'm in the hole. I bought some TMR. So I still owe Zeke some more work. I don't know what he's doing. He's just, you know what? You call the guy, you say, hey, give me a hand. And he comes and he uh, he does all the good stuff. So I think he got a line mulch plowed. I, I don't know. He's got a rock picker. So he said, I'll bring my rock picker up and I'll pick up the stones for you because I'm going to use the stones for the lime. So I said, okay, that looks pretty good. Oh, there is his... Uh, Oh man, he's got that old. He's got the old Massey Ferguson uh, tractor here with his plow. So it was been has been lying. I think it's been mulched as well. I'll have to talk to him. Oh, he just sent me a text message. He's on his way with his rock picker. So he's gonna do some stuff for me. Oh man, that's awesome. It cost me a little bit of money, but I told him I'm gonna pay him in year old Twinkies and a half uh, drink bottle of candy and club. So he said that's a great idea. I'm gonna do that. So I'm getting some other stuff done now. It's been an exciting afternoon here. After we finished the uh, corn harvest. I got a call from a local guy who has a, he's a hobby farmer kind of guy, and he's got a little insurance agency, um, Ball and, uh, let's see, what's, what was it called again? Ball and Crotchburns Insurance Agency downtown. His name is um, Engelbert Crotchburns, and he has a little hobby farm, and he's got three fields. Sorry about that. I swallowed the beetle. Uh, he's got three fields just across the road from me. An interesting story. He uh, was thinking about retiring because he did win the lottery. Um, he was all excited about uh, retiring with his wife, but his wife ran off the secretary. So, I don't know what the plan is, but he wants to get out of Dodge. He wants to sell some property. So, I've got a load of TMR. Oh, there it is. Yep, Engelbert Crutchbirds. That's a that's a heck of a name. I wonder what his family tree is like. Hey, cows. Moo moo. How you doing, cows? Good to see you. Good to see you, cows. They're hungry. I'm going to open the gate here. I'm going to back in there. And I am going to, um, I was going to open my gate. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm going to back in there without hitting a cow. I'm not really hungry for a T-bone yet. I'm not a butcher. You know, some people, they go out, they deer hunt, you know, they, they kill pigs. They can butcher things up. I, I've never been one of those guys. I never, I never, um, learned how to do that. Now, I wonder if I can back in here. My mirror is kind of tilted out there. Oh, crap. Watch out for the, uh, whoa, oh, 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 boy. I went downhill there. Oh, I'm in the tree. Oh, I'm in the tree. Let's straighten this puppy out. Believe it. Oh, crap, there's a cow getting out. Come on, cow. Get back in there. Get back in there, cow. What the heck am I doing? Oh, God, I'm way off. Oh, man. Oh, cow is laying down there hungry. He's like, come on, man. I'm waiting here for my food. I'm bringing it to you. Calm down. Calm down. Got to go back up down. He'll get up out of the way. Get up out of the way, Moo Moo. There we go. I'm going to dump this into their trough. I don't know how much they need. Come on. I got some good quality TMR for you. There we go. Holy crap, look at that stuff that's pour out of there. Holy buckets. So this should help the uh, cows. Hi, cow. I should name my cows. Oh, he's like, he's like a Michael Jackson moonwalking cow there. That was beautiful. Okay. That's all the TMR up in there. Boy, I'm having a hard time talking today. Between swallowing a beetle and getting a little flustered about uh, Engelbert, I don't know. I, I, I feel bad for him. I mean, I, I really do feel bad for him. Nothing worse than your wife running off the secretary. But he did win the lottery, though. That's, that's the good thing. He did win the lottery. Um, you know what? And it's not shocking because the secretary was better looking than he was. So I'm not surprised about that whole deal. So, but that means that he wants to, you know what, let's just take a little drive up there. 
Whoa, I'm hanging out international here. We'll drive up there. We'll take a look at it. He's got a sorghum field. Oh, there's our fancy uh, roller. I tried that all the other day. We got to go roll that field. Yep, with the razzle. It's like bagoon. Say razzle. Razzle. Yeah, more of a razzle. That doesn't sound too bad. But he's got a field of sorghum. He's got a field of soybeans. And he's got a field of sunflowers. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'll probably just, you know, if I did invest in this land over here, I would, uh, I'd probably just sell it. I don't mean, I, I, sunflowers aren't ready to go yet. The soybeans, boy, they look pretty mature, don't they? Um, yeah, they're getting pretty up there. But soybeans, I mean, I could just harvest it and sell it. But that would give me three fields here right across my farm. And he is kind of a pesky old guy. I've heard stories about him. Uh, I think a hoarder for one. Um, he collects old dirty magazines. Yep. Matter of fact, he was on an episode of Pawn Stars one time. I was watching on TV, and uh, I had to Google it after I heard about it. And he was trying to sell all these um, Playboy magazines from back in the 20s and 30s and 40s whenever Playboy started. I didn't get much money for them, but, um, yeah. I knew a guy, one time I knew a guy in Canada. Yeah, in Canada, in Manitoba. In Shackleton, Manitoba. Look up Shackleton, Manitoba. And he was a, um, a hunter. He had a little shack there in town, and he, he did some goose hunting. But he had the same thing. He had boxes and boxes and boxes of them. Look at that good-looking sorghum. So those are the three fields. I mean, it's kind of convenient. It's right across from the farm, one, two, three. But 314500 bucks he wants for these three fields. So that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And the other exciting thing is um, the John Deere dealership. Let me see if I can get the international turned around here. Did... Um, let me demo. I was able to demo uh, old John Deere mower and forage wagon that they brought up. We'll, go, we'll drive up to the grass field now, and I demoed it. I made two loops. So if I wanted to buy the uh, forage wagon and the John Deere mower, it would be another 63200 bucks. So all in, I'm looking at 377200 bucks for three fields and the two pieces of equipment. And uh, Sophie says, you know, honey, she says, she calls me honey once in a while when she, when she likes me. But she said, you know, hey, look at that. There's, oh, there's a guy going. I'm telling you what. You call, he gets stuff done. I'm kind of impressed. He's got his rock, oh, look at that fancy rock picker. He's got a rock picker and a plow. He's doing me some, oh, man, it's going to cost me a fortune. It might cost me two half drink bottles of the Canadian Club. And I don't know, I, I can't, I, have you ever, you like Twinkies? I'm kind of a big Twinkie guy. I, I like Twinkies. Do they even make Twinkies anymore? Can you still buy Twinkies? I think Twinkies was a uh, had a Minnesota connection. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't know. But Engelbert Crotchburns is getting a little um, a little antsy. I mean, he, he's ready to get out of here, and he doesn't want to deal with it anymore. You know, hey, your wife left you. Your wife left you. That's not my problem. So I got to make a decision. I called down to the Farm Credit Services, and they said, you know, we we could do that. We could do that. We have to put your steel up as collateral. Because they know that I'm making big money from my distillery here in the woods. So they know I'm making money. So if they, I don't know, if I agree to uh, put that up as collateral, they will give me the money. But it's still it's still a kind of a painful thing to be that far into the hole and then have to worry about getting out of it. But the only upside to this is I can see, I can harvest the sorghum, I can harvest the soybeans, and I can harvest the sunflowers. I could just sell the crops to the local mill or elevator and make money off it. So I should have some income off those fields, but you know, it's like, it's, you know, it's like one of those things. You just kind of got to, you know, crap or get off the pot kind of thing, you know? Boy, my mind is in the gutter today. I don't know why. I don't know why. But anyways, up here at my fancy uh, least hayloft in the uh, tree, I had a little John Deere mower that I've been demoing. They, they need a decision on that because they're going to come and pick it up if I don't uh, go for it. It's, it's not bad. I mean, it, it's not bad at all. I mean, we're not talking huge wind rows here, but it uh, the working speed is pretty good, and I do get a little bit of um, wind row there, so I could pick all this up with this fancy Pottinger uh, loading wagon, and I could pick it all up, and I could put it into my fermenting silo, and we could make silage. So that's kind of the next step, because I, I am buying TMR, and I mean, it's expensive. I mean, I, I can't keep doing that. I, I only have five stupid cows, for crying out loud, and I'm spending more money buying TMR, and they're not producing a lot of milk. I got some slurry. I got a little bit of milk, 
But it might take a while for them to start um, milking. I mean, I, it's not like I'm going out there every day and milking the cows. No, no. I have some high school kids from the former, uh, or from the um, FFA. That, um, no, FFA, is that right? No, F4H. 4-H is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, some kids from the uh, 4-H club, they come and do some milking the cows. They get some experience. You know, they have a little, yeah, they have some fun. I mean, who doesn't like milking a cow? Everybody likes milking a cow. So we will um, keep doing that in the meantime because I don't have any other choice because I got... I got, uh, I got, I got to keep my cows happy. And chickens, they're all, they're okay. They're they're not laying as many eggs as I would like them, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. We'll go with it. We will go with it. Um, so now, what I think I'm gonna do, and, and today, today may be a short one because I got lots going on, and um, I gotta get down to the pub because Sophie needs some help down at the pub later on. But I told her, um, well, Zeke is here working for me, so that's gonna cost me more money there too yet. And I gotta get that one field rolled. I'm gonna get field five rolled with that razzle. Razzle. Yeah, that sounds kind of. And we'll get that rolled. And Zeke is doing a fantastic job for me. I can't believe how nice he is. Um, he wants something. Yep, he does. He wants something. But we'll see what happens. So 377,200 bucks is what I would need to get this um, this going. I don't know. Let's just see how the field looks here while he's doing it. He's getting it plowed. He must be on break. I tell you what, he does two rounds and goes on break. What a, what a wackadoodle. But it's getting plowed. This field needs to be plowed. Just to be said, we got to plow this field. So it's got lime, mulch, and plowed now. And then uh, he's got his rock picker. And I told him, hey, you can have as many stones as you want. So he is going to um, take the stones up for me, the rocks. And he does a lime production, I think, down there or whatever. I don't know. I mean, they're not real big rocks. I could just uh, roll them in, but... I figured if they're laying out here like this, and they're, they're so neat, neatly uh, piled. I mean, it's like it's like these rocks are smart. You know, they just come out of the ground and they form a pile. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he might be working with his GPS or something. I don't know. Uh, just drive, man. Just drive. It's not going to kill you. My voice is a little cracky. I think after swallowing that beetle, I'm a little, um, little scratchy in the throat there, but I apologize. Maybe I'm coming down or something. I don't know. That wouldn't be good. That wouldn't be good. Okay. I'm going to bring the truck back up, park it in the shed. Uh, I don't need it anymore. Hopefully the cows are satisfied for a while. I probably should have went and got another load of TMR, but I didn't call Fox Farms and say, hey, I want two loads. I only wanted one load, so they only had one load ready for me. So maybe in the next day or two I can look. I can check on the cows and see. But i got to get something figured out for them because it's getting to be, uh, holy crap, I look like I'm having an uh, implement dealership here with all my crap laying out. I get to get the combine washed, though. I did get the combine washed. So that is all washed and service ready to go. But if I do get some additional fields here across the road, um, I parked pretty close to the wall there, didn't I? I will need to get that up and running again. Uh, sorghum, sunflowers, and soybeans. Ha! Huh. Interesting. You know, I wonder what I wonder what the local market prices for those three crops are. That'd be interesting. Ah, it's, you know, it's a scary combine. It's got a mind of its own, but it does a job. It does a job. Maybe down the road. Holy crap, that thing painted. Look at that. All my equipment has, like, paint falling off of it. I must have got some bad ears where they had some bad paint at John Deere or something. I don't know. I don't know. I do have some more whiskey, too. So I'm not too worried about being 2300 bucks in the hole because I do have a load of whiskey that I could go sell and satisfy the bank. But, you know, overdraft production, they give me a day or two to get things squared away, and they don't charge me. But anyways, let's hop into the 4840 with the... And we'll go up and we'll... um roll that uh, barley field that we planted. Oh, man, I'm, I'm telling you what. Things are looking up, my friends. Things are looking up. As Z continues his work. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. It's going to come back and bite me in the ass, though. I know it is. It's going to come back and bite me because he's going to uh, ask me for something, and I'll have to um, reciprocate his uh, kindness. Yeah, big words today. Big words. But, being that... Um, Engelbert's fields are just right across my road. It's very convenient for me, and it's actually kind of a fortunate thing that, you know, if he did, he did contact me first and said, hey, I heard you're a pretty nice guy. I said, yeah, I am. He said, um, I'm going to make you an offer. I said, okay, make me an offer. So that's what he offered. I mean, it's very it's very seldom. I mean, you don't, you don't buy farmland that has crops grown on it, but because of his personal circumstances, he, um, yeah, yeah. I wonder what happened to his insurance company, though. I wonder if... Um, I don't know if it's Mr. Ball or Mrs. Ball. I have no idea. But they're gonna probably going to have to take over there. Because I think he's going to Boca Raton, Florida. Yep, he's going to wear those uh, velvet pantsuits things, you know, those one, those uh, two-piece suits that match. 
Yeah. I was watching a movie on TV the other day. I think it was called... Um, ooh. Kind of, kind of cranky there. Uh, I can't remember. It had, like, what was his, what was the guy's name? Is it a baseball player or something about getting so many hits and whatever? And... Um, there. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's fancy. Oh, I like that. That works out pretty good. So, we'll get this rolled. It's going to be kind of hard to tell where I'm going here. I might have to, I think I'll go around a few passes. And then what I'll do is I will go diagonally from where I planted it. And then I'll kind of um, be able to get an idea of what, what I'm doing here. But, just hit the B said, man, go roll that field. So, just hit the B says, do it. I got to do it. She says jump. I say how high. You betcha. Cruising right along in the 4840 with the Resolute. Yep. I just made my uh, my first pass here. Got the GPS set. So I did two rounds. And now I'm just going to go to an angle. Uh, probably a bigger uh, angle than I would like. But we'll see how this works. GPS so far seems to be working. I got the AB line in here. And we're just rocking and rolling. So hopefully... Um, She'll keep on doing a pretty good job and get this field rolled. And then we'll be um, we'll be pretty much top-notch for this field. We will have to... Um, holy crap, there's a hill. We will have to um, probably apply another state of fertilizer, I'm assuming. We'll probably have to fertilize it once in the spring. And we'll get that... Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. It's working pretty good. I can actually tell where I've gone and get that um, top notch in the springtime in the towards the summer you know when the when the um, barley has germinated and emerged and we'll be, in, we'll be in pretty good shape but ph levels should be perfect it's been mulch it's been rolled and we'll have a full fertilizing state on here so this should be a pretty darn good barley field for our distillery now the other thing we'll have to do here i should call down to the mill and see hey did you have do you have any cracked corn and uh rolled barley for me i can go pick up some pallets of that and get that put into the uh, distillery process and we should be pretty good to go there um well, i want to keep that thing running because that's our that's our main source of income and now that the bank uh, says that we have to keep that rolling as collateral if we if we decided to do this deal and i'll know more in a few hours here I wanted to get this field rolled and make sure Zeke is okay over there if he needs any help. And then I get down to the pub and help Sophie for tonight's um, tonight's little crowd. Tonight's crowd. Friday night, you got it. No, Saturday night. Saturday night. I'm sorry, I'm a day off. Um, the crowd down at the pub, they get they get a little they get a little rowdy. They get a little rowdy, but don't worry, don't worry. We have the best damn bouncer and gay that you could ever imagine. So we should be all right down there, but. With that said, um, I think that's all I'm going to do for today. Tomorrow, um, depending on what we decide to do with this farm credit services stuff, uh, tomorrow would be a mowing day. Tomorrow would be a mowing day towards the end of September here. Get the mowing done and get that um, grass picked up and put into our fermenting silo. That would be the goal for tomorrow. And I'm trying to think what else we would need to get done before... We really start to get into the fall, into October here. As long as we got the grass mowed and picked up and put into our fermenting silo, we're in pretty good shape there. Oh, well, if we did um, go with the farmland, we'd have some harvesting, more harvesting to do. But that, they're not huge fields. It's not going to take me all that long. And the sunflowers aren't even ready yet. Soybeans will probably give a little bit more. And the uh, sorghum probably give a little bit more too yet. But otherwise, you know, they're in, they're in darn decent shape. We don't got to worry about that. He was a pretty good farmer. I mean, he took his stuff seriously. Being the insurance salesman down there at uh, Ball and uh, Crotchburns, you know, they, they, they insure farmland, so they insure crops, so they, they have to keep their, you know, they got to be a, a pillar of the community, so to speak, and they got to keep their stuff up to snuff. So it's it's um, it's all good stuff. It's all good fields. They, they, they were good hobby farmers, or he was a good hobby farmer. I don't know. I, yeah, I should find out if it's Mrs. Ball or Mr. Ball. I don't know. I don't know. I think... Um, Engelbert's wife's name is Thelma. I, I, I can't think. I can't think. I, I don't know. I don't know. I never met her. I, I, matter of fact, I never met um, Engelbert until he uh, called me and I said, yeah, stop on by. We'll talk. Oh, it is what it is. Now, um, other than that, this Razzle seems to be going pretty good. The 4840 is an awesome tractor. I'm a big fan of it. I am a big fan of it. You know what? Sophie and I were talking uh, last night in bed watching... Uh, 
watching another 40. She, she watches these murder mystery shows, you know, like uh, uh, Dateline, NBC, you know, or another 48 hours or CSI stuff. You know, it's kind of, you know, like, Sophie, we're in bed. Why can't we find a good movie like, um, I don't know, Showgirls? Or, um, you know, something like that to get, you know, when we're in bed sleeping. But, no, it's always these dark crime mystery mystery movies. But I don't like it. So, anyway, we were talking about uh, what the end game is. And, and I'm saying, you know, I don't know, Sophie. We got, we had the pub. We got the distillery. We're doing some farming. But, I don't know. She, she has an interest in... Um, she has an interest in some vineyards. Oh, man. You know you know how much money we need for that, Sophie? You'd have to win the lottery, honey. But we'll see down the road. We'll see. I mean, we're, we're years away from trying to figure out what to do there. I suppose I probably shouldn't be driving over the same spot all the time. I'm probably rolling it too much. I don't want to compact it. I just want to get a nice a nice uh, seed bed. You want to make compaction with the soil with the seeds. But I'm trying to... Oh, crap. GPS, turn it on. Use it. Use it while you got it, man. What the heck is wrong with you? But I know today is going to be a little bit shorter, but all I'm doing is rolling. We got we got TMR for our cows. I'm rolling. Zeke is working on that field. Uh, we'll have to make a decision the next time we see you. Next time we see you, it'll be uh, almost the end of September here, and I will be in that grass field mowing, and then uh, I'll let you know what we decided to do about the money and the fields and what have you. But we'll kind of go from there. Anyways, um, it is a weekend. Too. It is a weekend. It's a happy Saturday to you. Hope the weekend is treating you well. Life is good. You're staying safe. You're staying healthy. Enjoying it. Joel, I'm glad you're feeling better, my friend. Um, that's good news. You, you, you rest up and get well. And then uh, I'll buy you a beer here in the near future. Anyway, my friends, take it easy. Enjoy your weekend. Have a great Saturday night. And keep them between the ditches.